Hi everyone, I am Ishan Sharma. There is a person named John Washam who cracked interviews at Google as well as Amazon. And in this free GitHub repository that he made, of course it is free, he talked about everything that he learned along his coding interview preparation journey. He talked about all the data structures he focused on, he talked about all of the different questions he solved and some tips that he has for all of you to prepare for your coding interviews. So if you want to prepare for your FANG interviews, you can take a look at this free GitHub repository. All the resources are linked in this one itself and you will get to learn a lot in this process. So I'll take you through this whole repository and I hope this will be valuable. Make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe I am here in my college trying to record videos from my college room. Let me know how is this looking as well in the comment section. But anyways, let's go into this particular repository. It's called as Coding Interview University as you can see right here. As he points out that this is like a to-do list that he created when he was preparing for his software engineering interview at Amazon. So he completed that and then he also interviewed at Google and he cracked the Google interview. He prepared for eight months to get into Google and this is what he did. So let's take a look at exactly what this repository has. So as you can see right here, it first of all talks about the study plan. How exactly should you be preparing for all of these concepts and like what should your schedule look like? Everything is covered over here. It talks about some books that you should be preferring. What language should you choose? some you know free video resources that you can consume and some misconceptions that you might have you know we think like people who get into companies like google have some innate genius capacity inside of them that is totally not true john talks about all of this in great detail in this particular repository as you can see right here it also talks about some mistakes that you can avoid what should your daily plan look like it has a list of coding questions that you can practice to become better there is one more way for you to improve your problem solving skills and get better at logical thinking and that is with newton school's grand coding contest it's a completely free global competitive coding contest just like you have ICPC, Facebook Hacker Cup, and Google Hash Code. Grand Coding Contest is one of the largest competitive coding contests in India with a total prize money of over 10 lakh rupees. You stand a chance to win cash prizes, Kindle and Alexa devices, AirPods, Amazon gift vouchers and more. The best part is Grand Coding Contest is bringing you job and internship opportunities at the same time. Their hiring partners will be looking for great developers and will be offering them job interviews or internship opportunities. Make sure that you sign up as soon as possible. The link to register is in the description and I hope you will get value from this contest. Now let's move on to the rest of the video. So this was the action plan. What exactly you need to learn and how should you be learning it? The next part is the topics of study. What is the thing that you should actually be preparing for. So it talks about all the different data structures. First of all, it starts with big O notation and some asymptomatic analysis of different algorithms. Then it goes into data structures. So you have arrays, you have linked lists, you have stacks, queues, hash table, just the basic data structures that you should be mastering. So if you open these up, you will be finding some important things to cover. This is like a checklist that you can follow if you want to prepare for the coding interviews. So first of all, the first topic is arrays for example. So you need to cover all of these topics inside of array to be able to properly learn and solve questions in your coding interviews. So that is really important. So you go through all of these one by one, just keep solving all of them, learn about all of these methods like you have size, capacity, is empty, at index, push item, insert, prepend, pop, all of these you should learn and only then you can confidently say that yes, I understand arrays properly. This is one thing. Then of course, you can find out other ones as well, linked lists. It will have a checklist for linked lists as well. You need to learn about all of these things. You can also look at these videos that they have linked and you can learn about it very easily. So that's how this works. Um, let's go down, then it talks about other things that you should keep in mind. So for example, binary search and bitwise operators. Then you can look at trees and how trees really work, right? So it has some notes that you can consume to learn about how do trees work, what are the different types of trees. As you can see, you have BFS, you have depth first search, you have breadth first search right here. And it also talks about all the concepts and some implementations of these algorithms in this one repository itself. So this was trees. The next topic that they cover is sorting. So they've talked about all of the concepts. So you have selection sort, insertion, heap sort, quick sort, merge sort, then they go into graphs. So you can go through all of these concepts one by one and you can complete all of these videos and solve all of these problems. As you can see, right? Shortest path problem, 
then this Dijkstra's algorithm, then you have Bellman Ford algorithm. And then it talks about a lot of other things as well. For example, it has recursion, dynamic programming, design patterns. For example, if you go into recursion, you will find all the topics about recursion. Basically, first of all, the fundamental concept of recursion and then the different problems that you can solve about the same topic, right? So all of the problems are listed right here. It also has some Coursera questions or, or videos that you can consume to learn about the same thing. So you can consume all of these videos and you can be better equipped to solve questions on recursion. Then of course, you can take a look at dynamic programming. A lot of people, my friends included, are afraid of dynamic programming. You can learn from all of these resources that are listed over here. Always keep in mind, this is the exact resource that John used to get in companies like Google as well as Amazon. So it definitely has value in it. So that's basically how this works. You can go and take a look at each of these and you can start learning about it. So not just the basic BSA concepts, this repository also talks about how can you find jobs, how can you optimize your resume, the interview processes and a lot more. Then you have the additional topics that you can consider if you want to learn more about it. So books that you can refer to if you want to prepare for your coding interviews. It also has some system design topics if you want to get into that role. Then it of course talks about some more you know, lower level concepts. So you have compilers, you have Emacs and Vim, you have Unix commands, which is important for you to learn if you want to get into development. Then you have information theory, you have parity and Hamming code. Then of course you have cryptography. So you can just go in and you can just start learning, exploring, and that is a great way for you to upskill yourself. This is a great free resource to get started with if you want to prepare for your coding interviews. And that was the video. I hope you got to learn something from it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section as well. Go take a look at this repository. The link is again in the description. And if you're still watching, just write in the comment section, I watched till the very end. Let me know if you have any more questions about this. I have interviewed a ton of people who have prepared for their coding interviews and have gotten placed at the top tech companies and they share their opinions and their experiences on my videos on the channel. Again, links for that in the description. You can check that out if you're interested. I'll catch you on the next one. You can tag me on Instagram at Sharma790. That's all. I'll see you in the next one.